from Stamp with Pauline Stampin' Stampede and today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do another fold. So we have I've shown you how to do an angled gatefold card in a previous live um, and I've also done the standard gatefold card as well and I'm just going to show you now how to create this card. So it's a take on our gatefold card with the panel at the front, but this time what it's actually got is a little mechanism that actually interlocks and creates this. So I'm going to show you and walk you through how to do this card. So for this I have used Whisper White as my base and as my layer um, for the insert panel. I have used um, Just Jade for the outer edge and some soft succulent um, designer series paper um, from the Christmas catalogue. And this designer series paper is Whimsical Wonder 12 by 12 and it's absolutely stunning paper. And on the back it has this beautiful glitter trees on it. So what we have here for this card, you will need a piece of A5 cardstock. And I'm going to grab the trimmer and just get your cutting tool out of the way. We just need the scorer for this. And we're coming in at 5.2 centimetres or 2.1 of an inch. Two and one-eighths of an inch for a better word. All right. So you come in and you score both of those ends. What you need to also do for this card is I have taken my rectangles and when you get the rectangles you'll notice there's the large then the next size down then the next size down and the next size down what you need to do is get the two that um, then will create a frame and what I have done with the middle one and the outer one is cut using the Be Dazzling Celebration um, paper and I have cut out the two sections. This one you can use for another card, but this one here creates the frame. And then with the center, what you need is so to cut out two pieces of Whisper White cardstock, and they are actually going to get glued together, but I'll show you how that works in a minute. What I have also used here is the um, Whimsical Trees dies that has created the die um, of our Christmas tree and our baubles and our glitter on our tree as well. So we've got that. All right, so to start with, what you're going to do is once you've scored your cardstock, fold that over. What you then do is take two pieces of designer series paper. Now the designer series paper measures four and a half centimetres by 14.4 centimetres. Yep. All right. And the designer series paper gets glued down onto our panels. So pop that there. It's allowing a bit of a frame to go around the outer edge. Okay. So that goes on to there like that. All right. What you then need to do is take one of your layers of Whisper White and it goes down into the center like that so then this what will happen is this piece then gets glued on to the front there so I just sort of make sure that we're pretty centered open this up now you can use tear and tape for here but I did actually quite like the multi-purpose glue so just glue that down don't worry if you go over a bit of the center because we are now going to glue down our other piece onto here and that gets glued on to this piece
then just carefully lifting up and pop down some adhesive onto here. Now the other thing you can use is the adhesive sheets. So that is another way that you can then create this. And it will stop any of that smooshing of the glue coming out as well. So just another option, but I'm for this live I'm doing it that way. So now we have created our panel. And then what we're going to do is put our frame on top. So when you work out when you've got the frame on, we're gluing from this end all the way around to here. So what I do is sort of just eyeball with my finger and I'm just going to go out of shot for a second while I pop some glue down here. So just about there and again the adhesive sheets do work really well with this um, so that you do get that right and then popping that down and then you're ready to actually decorate your card. So then this just going to have to give it a bit of time just to dry because it will take a little bit. So I'm just going to lift that up for a sec, pop that out of the way. And once I've got that ready to go. Okay, so that is our mechanism. And I'm going to show you um, the card again. So this is what our card looks like. So I have stamped using the um, penguin penguin place I've used the season's greetings for this and I've used the whimsical to do this part and then you can stamp the inside so you're ready to go and then what you can do is actually change it and make it go the opposite direction so you don't have to have any designer series paper and this one I've used the stamp set classic cloche and I really like this it just reminds me of a um, a little retirement village so if you don't want it to make it look too Christmassy you can do that what I've done with this one with the classic cloche is I have used this stamp here to create a hill and why I've done that is so that you then can add to this part but I noticed it was quite thick so what I ended up by doing was getting my stamp and write marker and then just thickening up the other lines in my village as well and then I have added using the dies it actually has these two little tree dies that come with it so you can cut out a whole bunch of um, trees and you've also got this little one as well um, all in different sizes so that is my other variation of this card and now I'm going to show you you can do it another way as well so if you take your piece of whisper white cardstock and you now cut your A4 sheet at ten and a half now what you're going to do is score it at seven and a half centimeters on either end so you can do seven and a half turn it round seven and a half or you can just do seven and a half and twenty two and a half centimeter so that now creates this piece here and again same thing you've got a frame and you've got your two layers and what you can do is also add just um, some embossing folder panel to this piece or you can just use your embossing folder to do those and then this sits on here one in the center and then one on the outer side and that then creates your opening fold mechanism as well so you'll be able to see these on my blog um, and I'll also post this video to YouTube so if you want to go back and watch any of it at all so again same thing just gluing that down gluing making sure it's in the center gluing that down then glue on your frame just from here all the way around to here and that creates your fold to create a gate locking type mechanism for that so yeah so I hope that that is something that you can um, have a go at and I hope you liked it and I will see you next week with our next fun fold
All right. Um, don't forget to um, share the video. And also just a quick reminder, we have our craft at home. Um, just taking final orders for that. So if you wish to join that, it's $120 plus $15 postage. And um, you'll get the Peaceful Cabin bundle and all the supplies as well to do your make and takes. And we'll have a fun Christmas event. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.